Oh, we want to go pale. So kind of just start from scratch. modern and um, you know kind of sun-kissed right now for the storyline obviously but this is a flashback so unfortunately i have to take it all out okay sorry i know i know you love it it honestly looks so good on you though if you ever want me to do this look again like offset just let me know i'll help you okay i'm just going to really soak this micellar water because we just really need to get it all off really quickly. Okay, don't mind me. How did that take go though? Good? Oh my god, it looked so good from here. Yes, I mean I couldn't hear what was going on, but it just makes me so much more excited to see the film. you have do you have a kissing scene next i know and they want a red lip so i'm gonna have to make that um kind of stay put we're gonna do a couple techniques that i've learned but yeah just um yeah just act obviously do what you have to do but i will be watching just in case anything goes out of place and i'll be Okay, excellent. Put that all off. We're going to do some motion, you know the routine. I don't want to over, over moisturize, but we definitely need something because it's going to help keep the makeup on and cling to your skin. Why they pay you the big bucks, right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with some primer. This is my favorite one to use on you. It's the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. You know, I like working mostly in the T-zone because that's really where you need it. You don't need it anywhere else, so I'm not going to overuse the product for no reason. But this is great for photography, videography. I still want to make sure it's kind of massaged into those pores. Yeah, they kind of... See the footage afterwards, you just look like softer almost. Okay. I'm gonna go right in and I'm gonna spot conceal um, just the major points that I want to be extra covered. Okay. Radiant cream. This is this one's in custard. Yeah, so I was using actually a little bit darker for the scene before because they got you, you know, kind of spray tanned. But that is what they want. So this is what we're gonna do.
of it, so you're prepared. Do you want your script? have to move, that's okay, just let me know. Good. I'm gonna go in right with foundation. So clearly we're gonna use ambient soft glow and a little darker foundation. This is Mario Makeup by Mario. So great. Yeah, I think they've used this one on you a couple times. Another good one for videography. something you must have realized working on sets how much makeup they use yeah it's always so surprising like a lot of newbies actually don't realize how much they use and it's really because the cameras like nowadays it's getting better but cameras don't actually pick up as much makeup so in real life I would look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now, but on camera, it's always actually a little bit less, so we tend to go overboard, but it just makes everyone look so good. But in real life, it might not be realistic. But as long as you have a good skincare routine and chemical exfoliate every once in a while, you should be many chemical peels last year because um, you know, wearing makeup for work and then um, maybe not taking it off properly and then your pores get clogged and whatnot, but it's just the name of the game And then I am going to go back under your eyes and do a nice layer of concealer, okay? Do some other liquids. So I'm gonna do some cream blush because we're gonna go heavy on the blush today. This is just the 50s kind of dramatic look that we're going for. So I'm gonna double layer with cream and powder products. This one is the Rare Beauty Bliss. And you quite quickly have to go in and blend that out or else it's staying there. Okay. 
I said everything really heavy right now. going to look great on camera. Okay. We're going to go in with Max Studio Fix. It is what we want for this look. I'm going to do a slight crease. We're thinking very Marilyn Monroe. Okay, so I'm going to use kind of like a soft, soft brown. Nothing too intense. little definition underneath. So I'm just going to have you look up. Good. Yeah. This looks great. Okay. Yeah, the eyeshadow look is actually not that complicated. It's mostly the eyeliner, uh, the lips. That's what makes it like super dramatic. I have to be very, very steady, so just relax for me. Take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to do quite a dramatic.
cream. Now I'm just making them even. Okay, stay still. too hard. Give you a slight glow, even though it's more of a matte look. I'm going to use the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. I'm just going to use a mix of the bronzer and the blush color. Just very little, because they don't want you too glowy over this scene anyway. Okay, inner corners of your eyes. We're gonna have that be popping too. So this color pops, flexitary, and I'm always wearing this in my inner corner spots that I really want to bring out. wakes up the face. So good. Now I have to go on your waterline. We're going to do a nice bright white. This was like a classic Marilyn 50s thing. Jumbo and YX. This one's a good one. Very slightly. Fill in the brows a bit, okay? Just mostly focus. And then I'm just gonna brush them out. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing just in those cheeks to get a little bit hollow to give you a little curving in the face. Okay, so just look at me.
Okay, we're gonna go right into mascara. Now, they're telling me you're gonna shed a couple tears in this scene. Is that true? Yeah, there's a crying part, yeah. So, I do have to use waterproof. Don't worry, I have the waterproof makeup remover here for after. I know sometimes it's so, like, rough trying to get this off, but it's really gonna help out for the scene, because you might smear some makeup, but it's not going to be like black, black, which I don't think that's what we're going for. This one's a bad gal bang, but waterproof. Look at me. Look it down a little. Look up. See? Okay, yeah, that's excellent. You have like beautiful lashes, we don't need to do anything else. Okay, let's see. I think we're here for the lips now. Okay, they want Chanel 99, which is like the most classic red lip very 50s. Um, we're gonna line the lips first, so just stay really still and I just want you to go like this. Thank you. Good. Good. Like this. Good. Okay. Clean that up a little too at the bottom. Okay. Now for the red. It's my favorite part. This is 99. Pirate. I didn't know that was called pirate. Anyway, it's called pirate. Okay, let's apply this. Grab my translucent powder, fill my little brush up. I'm actually gonna set this, we're gonna do it twice, okay? I'm going like again first. Good. Okay, kiss the back of your hand. Just a little bit more in the corners. Okay, and then eventually 
the moisture from the lipstick is going to come through a bit so they won't look too dry but for now we're going to let that sit and it's really going to lock in the lipstick but it's going to be quite still there so for any kissing thing, you'll be fine just one well then you're good it's just a quick and you're all set to go okay let's see yeah i think you're i think you're all set see this set. I don't know if you've been on it, but it's all old-fashioned. Oh my god, it looks so cute. It's like a little kitchen. You're gonna love it. Have so much fun, okay? I'll be here if you need me.